So in this series, we're going to show you how to fertilize and talk about things that you need to think about before you actually do a fertilizer application. Trees in the forest have plenty of nutrients because they have great topsoil and they have organic matter that they need because of leaf compost and other debris that's being recycled by microorganisms into the soil. But in an urban site like this, you don't have that. You may have a topsoil that's been removed. You're often removing foliage and debris from that system. So you're not getting the organic matter breaking down into the soil again to supply many of those nutrients. And so in order to determine what you have at the site, you really have to take good notes. You have to decide, is there a slope? What other factors do I need to consider when I'm applying a fertilizer? What kind of plants am I trying to manage? The other things that you need to find out are, what does the soil offer the plant material? Again, doing a good sound soil analysis, sample soil, sample soil taking is very easy and really an important component in determining your fertilization program. Many things that we don't do, one of those is a, a foliar analysis. We don't always do that, and that's something that's really actually important. It's very easy. You take foliage from around the tree in a sample and take it to a laboratory, and they'll give you a good analysis of what you have in the plant. And that may be critical to determine, if we have it in the soil, why isn't it making it up into the plant? So there could be root issues or other problems with the plant itself. So the other thing we really need to think about is what are we trying to accomplish with this fertility program? And you're gathering information to actually write a good prescription for that program. And in order to do that, we need to decide what do we have and why are we trying to fertilize it? Do we see a visual deficiency in the plant that we need to take care of? So that would be a great reason to fertilize. Are we trying to manage for flowering fruiting? Are we trying to bring back a tree that is in decline? And why is it in decline? It's very important to know that before you actually start a fertilization program, because if it's a drought issue, then we do not want to fertilize. So we also want to keep in mind that fertilizers are salts, and so those salts can burn roots if they're not applied properly, especially young fibrous feeder roots. So you want to keep that in mind, because that's really important to not over fertilize in a system. If you're looking for great ideas and really sound information that's research-based from universities and, and experts in the field, there's ANSI A300 standards that will help you determine how to fertilize. They'll also give you great guidelines on planting and pruning. Something to really keep in mind when you're actually doing your landscape management program. So get out there and fertilize and really think about what you're doing and write a good sound prescription based on what you have in the field.